Ferro resonance phenomena simulation using B scan. Okay, this case, this practical case of root cause equipment failure analysis, like transformal failure here in this case. So our configuration we have supply 33 kV 33 kV then we have fuses long cable about 200 meter one hundred eighty five millimeter square finally we have transformer 500 kva transformer with no load at secondary side okay and this cable air seat in transformer side so let us run simulation and see the if on if a uh, ferrorosonous phenomena happen or not in this configuration so here we have uh, like fuse just single phase single phase operation that mean uh, from start I lose uh, one phase C phase as you see here in this graph for voltage to earth line to earth voltage here it should be nineteen point oh five kilovolt and here line to line voltage and here transformer current as we can see here this inrush current of transformer and this inrush current uh, <coughs> contain harmonics this is rush current especially uh, second harmonic order for that in uh, differential protection or over current protection for transformer protection we use this uh, second order harmonic or harmonic restraint to disactivate protection at the moment of a rush current because if a rush current contain second harmonic order it appear there is second harmonic order is even order and when even order occur when the waveform half cycle not the same as positive cycle not the same as uh, negative cycle so here we have even order even order Okay, here the over voltage of uh, uh, phenomena is line to air's voltage above 60 kV. So, our configuration or our system at risk from ferrosonous. And uh, this danger for transformer and for both transformer and uh, cables. Okay. The next scenario let us test with load we have here load about 250 kilowatt applied to transformer and we can see this load it will damp phenomena resonance phenomena damping resonance phenomena damp it because of secondary load so that means for ferrosonous phenomena to like happen there is four or five conditions first long cable or long line as we will see in next video then transformer with this configuration delta star DYN delta primary star secondary and we don't have load in secondary side as 
you can see there is no over voltage and there is no free resonance phenomena. Okay, the third scenario. Now I will remove this load from transformer and leave transformer with no load. Okay. Third scenario. I want to test because as here, let us check this graph. This configuration for fluorescence to be happen. Earth cable with delta connected primary side and single phase operation and earth system supply because here this winding connected in series with capacitor that means XL of transformer and XC of cable this is three capacitance of cable from core to earth connected in series or star and earth it and earth it star and also it possible with earth it star if we have core to core that means this cable not earth it so this uh, three configuration for for us to also care. Okay. Next scenario, I want to test this configuration with primary star. And this is star, the star point or neutral point of star Earth. It. So let us test, and we don't have load. You see, this breaker should be in green. That means off. State. Because of primary side is the start earth it and our cable earth it that means the capacitance between core to earth and our supply also earth it this condition not fulfill or fulfill the condition of for resonance phenomena to like her. Okay. Let us also check star delta. Star primary delta secondary. Here only the inrush current is higher than before, up to 40 ampere. Okay, in this configuration here we have circulating current in delta because we lose one phase in primary side and uh, if we measure the voltage here in uh, AB in this in uh, secondary side it, we will get all three phase voltage complete not like delta star there is a little over voltage but uh, is not like uh, ferro resonance up to 60 kV. This I think all possible configuration this is our first configuration delta star. Next scenario I want to remove the earthing system of the earth of the cable of the earth cable. Here we have possible of stray capacitance but between core to core 
not core to earth because already no earthing or eliminate earthing system okay let us remove sorry remove this earthing system so let us stop then remove and check Here, our configuration also at risk from ferrozonous, but with over voltage up to 40 kilovolt, less than air seat cable. That means an air seat cable, the over voltage less than air seat cable. So I think this all cases or all scenario for cable and transformer con uh, winding connection. The last scenario I want to test it here with shorter cable. Shorter cable. This cable now 200 meters. So here now only 20 meters. 20 meters. And I will put this earthing of cable. So, it's better to unearth this cable, but we have to use cable for an air system. That means the insulation level of cable should be 33 kV between core and earth, not 19.05 kV, 19.05 kV. Okay, let us now solve this question. Now this cable only 20 meter, only 20 meter, and our transformer 500 kVA. And let us check for ferrozonous phenomena. I think there is over voltage, but very, very, very small compared with long cable. But also our configuration at a risk from fluorescence. But with over voltage. Line to S, I think about 20, 30, 30, 30 kilovolt. Okay, that is all for this uh, simulation of ferrozonous uh, phenomena. I hope this video will be useful. And thank you.